20 Minecraft roof designs. That's right, I have 20 for you today. These are all based on real world concepts and each one has a name you can look up for more examples. Only 7 of these roofs required a slight alteration to the base shape of the building they sit upon. Some of these roofs you may find to be quite appealing and others you'll find to be less so. I've built these to show a generalized version of each concept and to make some of these roofs really stand out, they'll need the proper build to complement. My name is Wintertooth100 and I want to share with you today how one build can have a multitude of roof choices. But before we get started, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you don't, then everyone will know that you hate puppies. And I think you in fact love puppies. So be sure to prove it to everyone. To keep things clear, most of these builds, 13 of them in fact, are seven by nine blocks in length. So they all share this exact same shape. The other seven actually required slight alterations just so the roof would fit. What does this mean? It simply means that not all roofs are going to be capable to fit on any given section of your build, but most of them can be made to fit. And if you do have some particular roof style in mind that you want to use, you're going to have to make sure that as you're building, that that build is going to be able to accommodate the size of the roof you have in mind. All right, with the formalities out of the way, we're going to start with our very first build called the Skillion and Lean-2. These are real world names. I'll let you take a look at that for just a moment in case you want to look up more images yourself. We'll look at each one individually. And this is basically just a slanted roof that meets another larger slanted roof going in, uh, in separate directions. I actually really like this one. It turned out much nicer than I was anticipating based on the designs I was able to find from the interwebs. Next up we have the open gable. This is just your classic A-frame. Uh, you, if, you're, if you're a fan of my channel, you know that I use these classic A-frames all the time. They're actually called open gables. And again, you can look them up and they, yeah, they're, they're, they're very basic. Next up, we have the box gable. They are just like the open gable, except you can see here clearly there is a difference. There's a little overhang and they're typically filled in or you can even do windows in the sides of them or little flower pots however you want to do it but the big thing is that they are an overhang themselves and give access to uh, their own form of depth next up we have a dormer admittedly this one was a little challenging to fit on this particular size but i feel like we got it to work essentially a dormer is just this little section here that pokes out of the roof and has its own uh, like wall like you see we're using the same material for the same wall and typically you'd have little windows here uh, these are pretty familiar I'm, I'm sure you've seen this style all over the place they really do break up your your roof and help them to feel more detailed and number five we have the hip roof this is it's, it's basically just the angle on all four sides you notice with the uh, with the a frames the open gables the box gables they have the slant just on one of their or two of their four sides, one on each side. The hip roofs uh, intentionally do the angle on all four sides. Number six, we have the hip and valley. We're gonna see several versions of hip roofs because there there's just so many different versions of a hip roof. But this is essentially a crossed hip uh, build roof with the valley being this extra little bit poking out, or some people even consider the valley to be uh, this line right here how it's an inward angle whereas the rest of them are outward angles and we get a, we get two more inward angles on either side of this so you get, get your little valleys in there but essentially it's just it's just a crossed hip with this little extension poking out from the side and these actually look really nice this is one of our this is one of our builds that breaks away from the seven by nine and extends a little bit just to accommodate the roof shape itself number seven is the gambrel i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but that is how it is spelt so again of course you can look them up and for me this this is your barn shape like in minecraft you see this nice little rounded top this very much to me screams the classic barn shape then you can pretty much use this on any build it doesn't have to just be a barn you can clearly fit them on any house you could put them on the ends of uh, little caps coming off different cross sections of your build but these actually look really nice i actually preferred them to be forward facing instead of the side being forward facing just because they i don't know they look a little funny to me when you look look at them from the side number eight the mansard 
is kind of similar to the Gambrel in that it has this initial uh, flat lip on the front, but then it's like a crossed version of a hip roof. It's got the same all four sides at an angle uh, reaching up to the top where it peaks. Uh, but the real the real difference between the hip roof and the mans mansard yeah mansard <laughs> is this this flat little bit in the front gives it kind of a unique shape uh, this might draw the attention of any passerbys walking through the city just because it is so different than what you might be used to seeing from minecraft builds number nine is the butterfly and this one actually turned out way better than i thought it was going to i'm actually a big fan of it it's very simple it's just two slanted roof shapes that their bottom parts meet in the middle and so you have two front facing bits of your build and this could lead to uh, like a duplex if on the interior you split it in half you could actually have two front facing individual houses that are connected and this roof is a fantastic one for connecting up those builds and number 10 we have the intersecting overlaid hip and it's well it's 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 the open gamble mixed with the hip roof we have this little section poking out from the main main build this is one of our seven that is not following the seven by nine but it's a mixture of the hip roof with the open gamble and i think it really complements this particular shape number 11 is the dutch gable which you can see is a mixture of an open gable with a hip roof you can do this on both sides and essentially you start off by making a hip roof and a few blocks up you transition into the open gable and you get this nice little section two sections if you want where you can add little windows again little flower pots do extra little details in there big fan of the dutch gable admittedly the hexagonal gazebo was a challenging one uh, hexagons are already difficult doing diagonals mixed with straight normal lines of minecraft back and forth uh, is a little challenging but you end up with one of these types of roofs where it's just a whole bunch of stairs it kind of looks a little messy but depending on how you work your initial shape will change how this top usually fleshes out you normally don't get the hexagonal shape it tends to round out a little more i really tried to push for the hexagonal shape but it is difficult in this cuboid game to get shapes that are non-cuboid next we have the jerking head or as i like to call them the half hip roof where you start off with an open gable and about halfway up you transition to a normal hip roof so you end up with more of this shape it gives it a nice rounded feel on the long end but it really does make it feel really interesting on the ends of the build itself where it does look like you have the open gable going it almost feels like the gambrel in that you have this weird almost rounded shape but it's definitely the half hip that's pulling this off right here now we would be remiss to not talk about the flat roof you will see these predominantly in drier climates such as deserts but you can really make them look interesting just based on how you do the trim you if you the more detail you put into the trim and the material itself for the flat part of it you can really make these stand out if we were to use campfires and of course put them out so they're not you know on fire uh, you can get some really nice design and shape within the flatness of the flat roof and number 15 we hinted at this one a little earlier the cross hipped roof which essentially is just you have an l-shaped house and you're doing a hip roof all the way around it you're going to end up with the cross shape that is the technical term for the hip roof when it is on an l-shaped build number 16 the m-shaped roof we're in the final stretch guys bear with me the m-shaped roof is exactly as it sounds it is your mcdonald's arches it is an m-shape where it's basically just two open gables that meet in the middle this is perfect for if you want to have two houses next to each other and have the roofs have a seamless transition with the open gables you actually do end up with another real world roof design called the m-shaped number 17 the salt box i don't know why this is called a salt box i'm guessing there's something in the past 
that salt boxes used to look like this. I'm, you know, I'm assuming it's just a box that was filled with salt. <laughs> I genuinely do not know why this is called the salt box, but this is an open gable where one half of it stops halfway so you don't get the full A-frame shape. You get this weird upside down check mark shape. It actually looks really nice. I'm a big fan of that. It really does leave the front open for extra details. We could even go through here and put like a balcony in the front, whereas in the back side we couldn't do that. Maybe a small one, maybe a porch back here, but certainly not a balcony, which this salt box shape would allow us to do. Number 18, they call this the shed roof. You're gonna have to make sure if you look this one up it you that you do type in shed roof designs because it really is just an angle, but if you just type in shed, you're, you're going to get wildly different images than what you're probably looking for. But this is just your classic uh, angled roof. I'm using mostly slabs for this. In some places, I've worked in some stairs, but it's just slabs going at an angle, so you get that nice angled roof shape. Number 19 is the combination roof. Arguably, you could call many of these roofs combination roofs, but it is... Uh, a hip roof we're using slabs to accomplish the hip into a sharper angled uh, hip roof so we got this gentle angle hip into a sharp angle hip and they're calling it the combination these are pretty unique I, I would say that you would see these more commonly on much larger builds where the roof is uh, going to be taking up a lot more space so having this extra layer of detail just inherently within the roof helps it to stand out a little bit more in larger builds and in these smaller builds I it's I, I feel it's a little too much and of course number 20 is the pyramid hip for if, for those builders who like to build you in squares this is a seven by seven it is simply a hip roof and it is purely a pyramid shape hence why they call it the pyramid hip this is really great for capping the tops of towers, uh, little houses like this is, is a good choice for them, or you can even cut the build out altogether and just build a pyramid, right? I highly encourage you to look up some of these and to practice building these shapes, even in a creative world, just practicing building them is a great way to improve your survival building skills. And a lot of these roofs, you may have noticed as you're going through, a lot of these roofs are mishmashed together to create new roof, roof shapes. Like we have the open gable and we have the hip roof. And we saw here, we actually came up with this intersecting overlaid hip, which is exactly that. It's an open gable and it's a hip roof squished together. You can take several of these uh, roof designs and on a larger build or a build that has many sections poking out of it, you can incorporate many of these different shapes all together to create your own unique roof. So if the more you practice these, the better you're going to get at recognizing when and where you can use them. And then you're going to get better at uh, mission and matching them all together, just you know, slamming them together, squishing them together and coming up with your own unique roof styles. I did it again though. Oh my goodness, this video is way longer than I wanted it to be. Fortunately, we worked through all of these again. I'm going to leave in the description down below, actually, the names of each of these roofs in the order we went through them. So if you want to check them out and look them up for yourselves, they'll be down there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one.